What took you an embarrassing amount of time to figure out? When I was growing up the family would often do road trips to Vancouver, at least once a year. Just outside Williams Lake I would always observe a construction site, where some sort of log house is being built. It was always half finished. After like a decade I was maybe 18, and finally made the comment about them still building that place. Apparently they build custom log homes on site, and disassemble and ship them out. That would trip me up as well haha. Especially if one year the house looks even less developed than last year. Dang those redescents are really extending that project schedule. That those ridiculous over the top dresses exhibited at fashion shows are not intended to ever be worn in real life. They are like concept cars of the fashion world, intended to showcase the designer's creativity and vision. I spent so long wondering why anyone would ever wear them lmao. Come on. You've never wanted to literally wear a freaking motorcycle chassis? In Lady and the Tramp the humans are called Jim Deer and Darling. I was in my 30s, before I realized that wasn't their actual names, it was what Lady heard them calling each other. I've been reading my 2 year old Disney stories for almost a year, and never thought about this. I always thought they were super weird names, and didn't consider the stories, while not written in their voice, were still written from the dog's perspective. I'm also in my 30s. Ever read that comment? I wonder what my name is my dog gave me? Before my cataract surgery I thought Hellboy wore aviator goggles. Post surgery I saw they were remnants of his horns. I always think he's just got goggles hiked up on his forehead, despite having seen the movies with my contacts in. The horn stumps were supposed to evoke goggles I believe, as part of Hellboy's blue collar vibe. My French press. I owned one 9 months, before I realized the coffee grounds go under the plunger, and not on top of it. I was always so annoyed, having to clean the top of the plunger, after lowering the coffee into the water. My girlfriend stared at me, like I was the stupidest person she'd ever met trying to formulate how to politely fix this. How did you keep the grounds out of your mug of coffee? You pull up, and dump in the trash. Minimal grinds. When I was younger I thought feet was a very popular rapper i.e. Eminem feet 50 cent etc. I was like damn this feet guy appears in a lot of songs. Wait till you hear about various artists. I actually did think various artists was a band as a kid. Every time I saw it listed I had two thoughts. 1. That's a really stupid band name. 2. They have done some range, because they sound wildly different in each song. That chickens always lay eggs without needing to mate with a rooster. I have chickens, and people have argued with me about this lol. Like literally I have 5 hens and 0 roosters and I get eggs every day and people argue and say it doesn't work like that. I used to have chickens and my friends would get mad at me for forcing them to lay eggs. It doesn't work like that either. When I was a kid back in the early 90s I was obsessed with WWF wrestling. It didn't hit me until years later that the Undertaker's manager's name, Paul Bearer, wasn't his real name. Fun side note, Bill Moody, aka Percy Pringle slash Paul Bearer, was a licensed funeral director. And another fun little tidbit, the Undertaker actually was an undead minion of hell with occult powers, sent back to earth as a harbinger of the end times. I realized a few years ago that cows don't just naturally produce milk, they have to be pregnant slash have a calf to produce it which is embarrassingly late to figure out. I learned something new today and I'm a little hurt that they don't naturally produce milk. Well they do, but just like any mammal they only produce milk for a soon to be child as a woman. I should have known this, BC women don't lactate until they have babies. That I wasn't, in fact, the family member that best washes the dishes. Yes, I'm the youngest. As an older sister, I would have to disagree. No one does them as good as you. The rapper Flo Rida is from Florida. That I knew. I just didn't know that Flo Rida was Florida with a space. I'm an idiot. This is all new to me. Can I get more fun things like this? You can't have your cake and eat it doesn't mean you can't obtain your cake then eat it it means you can't still possess your cake after having eaten it. That the state Montana is literally the word mountains in Spanish. Didn't realize until I was physically in Montana, staring up at some mountains, and thought wow, mountains are so pretty, Montanas, 
Montana's, Montana, oh, you'll be thrilled to hear about Vermont. How to use a staple remover. Until I was, was in my 40s, I'd just use the staple remover to bite the long side of a staple and kind of tear it back through the paper. Then someone showed me how to properly use a staple remover by biting the crimped side of the staple to bend the crimp and kind of straighten out the staple again. Once kind of straightened, bite the long side of the staple and the staple will back out the same holes it went in without further tearing the paper. Wait what? How many of you savages are out here just massacring papers? That ringing in the ears is not a normal thing everyone experiences, or a superstition, that someone is talking about you. I was 30 when I realized that it is tinnitus and not normal, even though I've had it since I was around 13, to loud music. When I was separating from the Yusuf, I had a medical out processing. And after the hearing test the tech said you didn't hear anything for the last minute. And I said no, just the normal background ringing that everyone hears. The tech looked at me and says what? That day I learned not everyone hears that. I too thought everyone heard it. My wife informed me they do not. The especially embarrassing part was realizing I had watched Archer several times, where he mentions Tinnitus to say, lot, and I still didn't pick up that I have it. I thought that ponies were baby horses till I was like 24. That breakfast actually means breaking the fast. Okay, then what does breakfast mean? British Englishing the fess. The toilet seat should be down to make pooping more comfortable. My whole life, I just thought it was for people who were too small to sit on the full rim of the toilet, so that's why I never used it. But hey, at least I poop more comfortably now. Your responses of disgust curiosity and hilarity made my night and i'm glad i could make a lot of you laugh so to return the favor i'm going to answer a lot of people's questions on how it took me so long and how i learned when i was a kid my parents showed me how to take a dicky classic toddler terminology but i don't remember ever having a potty trainer but my goofy ass thought they were showing me how to do it as a kid so my brain at the time just said you better keep that seat down or else you'll fall in so when I became old enough, I just stopped using it because I thought I didn't need it. I could just distribute my balance by manspreading and I wouldn't fall in anymore because I really can't see how you could unless your frame is just that small. It never really killed my legs and yeah there was some straining but I just thought I had a bad diet or something. And of course when you're grown, it's not really a common thing to have people watch you do your business and vice versa. As far as public toilets are concerned, I just wiped them off before usage, because it wasn't one from home. Fast forward to 2 months ago, 25 now, I go to visit my parents and my mom tells me she got a new toilet, and was showing it to me. It looked comfy, so I lifted both the lid and the toilet seat to sit down and see how it felt like, if I was doing my business, with my pants on of course. When I do that, my mom was thoroughly confused and asked if I always did that. I told her my reasoning in the previous paragraph. After she explained to me, she showed me everything. The rest has been history. I'm not ashamed of it, because the thought of it just makes me laugh. When you do something wrong but with enthusiasm, and someone says, a for effort, I didn't understand that it meant an errors in school report card grades. It never made sense, because in my head, E is for effort, like C is for cookie. I finally had someone explain it to me sometime, after I turned 30. I say it for effort to my kids, and it used to piss off my daughter so bad, when she was little. That and sorry, Charlie. My name's not Charlie. No crap, kid. I named you. She also swore up and down potion was potty on and really thought we were messing with her there. She was a funny kid. Got, what a great line. There's a Garfield comic from 1983 where Garfield says that he hates designer sweaters. Then he lifts an arm and says, the lizard chewed a hole in the armpit. It took me until about 2017 to realize that he is referring to the Lacoste crocodile. I have spent basically my entire life referring to every hole that forms in a piece of clothing as being caused by the lizard, but without actually getting the joke. I thought it was just the surreal, absurdist humor that Garfield is known for. I guess today I'm now aware that Garfield is absurdist and surreal. I just thought it was unintentionally dumb. 
that the trough in a porta potty is for the guy to pee in. I said to my dad one day, how are you supposed to wash your hands in that sink with no water? He stood there as shock disbelief as he explained to me, that is where you are to pee. I was probably around 18 when this happened. My brother talks about a lady he worked all summer. At the end of the summer she said it's so nice how all the porta potties have built in backpack holders. It even has a drain so, if your backpack is wet, it won't get the floor all wet. Those guys think of everything. I didn't realize until my late teens slash early 20s that chemical castration means taking pills which render you infertile, not necessarily dipping someone's balls in a vat of acid. Yay this one is pretty embarrassing. That the saying is nip it in the bud not butt. Horticulture, beeb. You can lead a horticulture, but you can't make her think. I have worked in a salvage yard specializing in European cars for the last decade. Everyone here calls these very specific type of pliers sob pliers, and not being well versed in tools I just assumed that's what they were called. Took me about 5 years to realize that they are calling them sub pliers because they find them in subs. Man, it must have been confusing when you overheard someone talking about their tool salesman. He's our sub plier supplier. That tool salesman is a bit of an a hole. He once tried to convince me he had broken down in tears, but turns out he was only pretending. He's a sub liar sub plier supplier. So when I was a kid, I saw this rerun of a prank that the BBC pulled off in the late 50s. It was basically a hoax broadcast they did for April Fool's Day, in which it showed old footage of people picking, or harvesting, spaghetti out of trees. Seriously. For some reason it just never clicked. I spent most of my childhood and my teen years believing it. And I had just never happened upon the subject. I was 19 years old, when I found out that spaghetti doesn't grow on trees. You weren't the only one. Apparently that prank was extremely successful in its original run, and the BBC had a barrage of callers wanting to know where they could get these cool spaghetti trees from. The best bit was the BBC primed the people on the phones to tell callers to stick a piece of spaghetti into an opened can of tomatoes and hope for the best. That my childhood hamster did not, in fact, run away. Dude when I was a kid my parents told us our turtle ran away, and I believe it until like high school. When I was 8 or 9 I was working on my archery skills. I missed the target plus my arrow went straight through a rabbit. I didn't even see the rabbit until I went to collect the arrows that had missed the target. I ran inside almost crying plus told my dad. He went out to deal with it plus came back to tell me it was fine plus had hopped off. Years later I brought it up to him plus he was amazed that I still believed him. I still don't know how I thought it was possible but yay, the rabbit didn't make it. The black market isn't an actual market. As a kid I thought it took place in dark alleys. As a kid there taught me that drug dealers were some grimy looking sketchy guy in a trench coat trying to coax me into a dark alley behind some dumpster to ply me with his illicit wares. Turns out it's some guy in khakis and a polo who wants you to meet him at 7, 11, so he can also grab some snacks, and this is just his side hustle, because his regular job doesn't quite pay the bills. That the Teletubbies literally had Teletubbies, as in their stomachs were TVs. Figured this out at university. I need to make some calls. Op is wrong about this. In the UK, that is, the home of the Teletubbies, tubby isn't slang for stomach, it's slang for being fat, or in this case, fairly round. They were round with TVs in their chest equals Teletubbies. I never understood a stitch in time saves 9. I was always like saves 9 what? It saves 9 stitches. It means a little preventative maintenance can save you from needing big repairs. Put a stitch in the cloth to strengthen it, and you won't have to mend a tear down the road. I think it clicked in my late 30s. Nine people nearly lost their lives today when an unreinforced stitch tore in the fabric of space-time. More at 7. That lambs were the same species as sheep. Silence of the sheep. You still wake up sometimes, don't you? You wake up in the dark and hear the screaming of the sheep. I was 50-ish when I realized that the little piggy that goes to market wasn't going shopping. I'm just learning this devastating information now. I had a whole picture in my mind all this time of a cute piggy pushing a shopping cart at the grocery store I'd go to with my grandparents. 
I was having a great time at a water park slash outdoor pool when a woman approached me in the afternoon and whispered in my ear that I had an issue with my swimwear. When I reached behind me, I found a large chasm. My white, untanned crack was visible through the fabric, which had been torn straight down the middle. No one said anything to me while I was rushing around like this all day. Different take on the question, but great answer nonetheless. The microwave oven doesn't have to be running for the add 30 seconds button to work. This reminds me of a story, I needed to microwave something for 50 seconds. So I thought, I'll press add 30 seconds, then wait for it to get down to 20, then press it again for a total of 50 seconds. I'm brilliant. Then I realized. Took me an embarrassing amount of time to do that math. I posted this before, but I had no clue that when you got your tires rotated they actually moved the tires from one spot to another. I just thought they revved them really fast to see if they were wobbly. Just in case you're unaware, doing this and applying wobbling correction is the balancing of tires, though not that fast. Took me 22 years to realize that the word sayonara is Japanese and not Spanish. I genuinely thought damn, Japanese people sure like to say the Spanish word for goodbye. Funny thing, when I was teaching in Japan I would say bye bye to the kids and they would look at me bewildered and say, wait, you speak Japanese? They use baby in Japan and don't realize it's an English loan word. That you can just twist your deodorant a few clicks to get the little clear plastic safety lid off instead of clawing and pulling at it till your fingers are raw. Reading this makes me feel like a complete moron, and I'm 40 years old. When I was 16 this girl called me. She asked if I had ever just called up a friend wanting to try to get laid. I said no. We talked about it, I encouraged her I thought it was okay blah, wished her luck hanging up. About 15 years later I randomly thought about that crap. Look on the bright side, at least you're not making child support payments on a 15 year old. Yeah but he could be almost done by now. Took me 23 years on this earth to figure out that several was not in fact a way to describe seven of something. Every time I heard it slash read it, I thought people were always just being oddly specific about the number of something. Got into an argument with my grandfather about it and didn't believe it meant more than a few until I looked it up. I dislike that a couple doesn't consistently mean to. In my head a couple explicitly means two, and I've had actual arguments over people using a couple to mean anything other than two and the misunderstanding caused by it lol. How ring binders work. I thought you had to take out all the pages to add a new page to the back of the binder, which annoyed me in school because it could take a while having to realign all the pages to fit the holes in the binder. I was about 22 when I worked in a bookstore and my coworker saw me take all the pages out, after which she showed me how it actually works. I will never forget the look of disbelief on her face. I'm dying that you got to 22 before you realize this. That the actor who plays Jason Gideon on Criminal Minds is also Inigo Montoya from The Princess Bride. My mind is still reeling from realizing that Holden from Mintenter is the king from Hamilton. I mean of course he is, but my brain refuses to accept it. He's also Christoph from Frozen. K9 stands for K9. Took me 29 years. The police cars in my hometown were marked with a letter and a number, so like A2, B7, etc. I saw one marked as K9, and it had a dog in the back, which I thought was just coincidence. The car was marked K9, and had a police K9 in it. Amazing. I got some bizarre looks at home, when I mentioned my exciting coincidence walking home from school. That when more than one person tells you they saw your husband with a woman who wasn't you, in his car, more than once, it probably means he's cheating on you, regardless of what he says. This one hurts. Took time to figure out how to relight the pilot lights on my grandmother's gas stove. After grandfather died, I had to relight the gas pilot lights for her whenever they went out. No one showed me how I had to figure it out on my own. Meanwhile, we had to open the windows because the smell of natural gas was pervasive. Based on the fact you wrote this post, glad you didn't end up with a rich environment and have a gas explosion. That NSFW meant not safe for work. 
I always KO it was a tag for explicit content, but it took me too long to learn what the actual acronym stood for. Before I started using Reddit I always thought it meant New South freaking Wales. I'm going to start using this now. I'm from Sydney, NSFW. Rocky Balboa was not a real person. Think I was 17 or so, when I found out he was a fictional character. Are you by any chance from Philadelphia? Yes. That the saying is kit and caboodle and not kit and caboodle. Until I found out the real saying, I always pictures a big basket filled with kittens. I'm learning more here than I did all throughout high actual. I was like 17, before I realized I didn't have to get in the shower, and then turn on the water, and get blasted with cold water. I can turn it on before I get in and just wait a second. The light in the fridge turns off, when you shut the door. But, but, how is the food supposed to see? Food has excellent low light vision like a cat. I was an adult before realizing that I can't believe it's not butter was margarine and not real butter. I guess you couldn't believe. I didn't figure it out. I had to discover that pickles are cucumbers by reading it on reddit. Actually I was guilty of something similar. Growing up we only had long cucumbers in supermarkets like English cucumbers. So I thought it was incredible how much they shrunk when pickled. What an idiot. The melody to the ABC song and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star are the same. And Bar Bar Black Sheep and the massive hit Somebody I Used to Know by Got I. You're now just a Baba Black Sheep I used to know. I've got an awesome one for this. I was 26 years old when I realized that my mother's name is Betty and her sister, who is a fraternal twin of hers, also something that I didn't know, is named Wilma. Wilma and Betty. From the Flintstones. Also, I have two sisters, Serena and Samantha. From Bewitched. That every show's first episode is called the pilot episode, and it's not just a crazy coincidence for every show I watched. It's called a pilot to see if it takes off. Literally a month ago, I'm in my 30s. When one cries crocodile tears, it means they are faking being sad. Crocodiles do cry, but the purpose is lubricating their eyes. I thought that it meant someone was really sad and crying really big slash a lot of tears. My logic was that if a crocodile cried, those would be some big tears. Crying crocodile tears must mean someone is very sad. Took me until adulthood to realize that the word Q is not pronounced Q U, but instead is just the letter Q with four silent letters behind it. I had a co-worker in college that pronounced it Kiwi. That ligma wasn't a real disease. I know, I'm very dumb. Should have asked Joe, who is Steve Jobs. It's with the wind chill and not with a windshield. I thought it meant the temperature inside a car. That the Windows logo is actually a window 25 years of my life, and it took microdosing some mushrooms to crack that one. Wait till you find out about the Apple logo. Out of shrooms, guess I'll never know. That is there a 7 in the 7-Eleven logo. My dumbass thought it was some weird straw illustration. I was 12 and audibly gasped when I first saw the 7. For some reason I vividly remember this, because it blew my mind so much used to go to London on the train every few months when I was in my late teens slash early 20s and was always shocked to see that they still hadn't finished building the shard. It confused me more and more each time that they had gone through all the effort slash time slash money of completing 99% of the building and then stopped, leaving the top as a jagged uneven mess. It dawned on me after a couple of years. I thought the KFC logo was the guy's head and his body, but lol it's his bow tie. That our son is an actual star. I mean, it's bloody obvious when you think about it, but when I was a kid, I used to think the sun was just the sun. The sun, the moon and the stars I was never taught any different at school, so the sudden realization in my 20s and amazement has always stayed with me.